Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we read a very beautiful book from the Bible. That is the second epistle of Peter. That is from the King James Version Bible. Let us try to understand from the New Testament, the second epistle of Peter. The book of Second Peter, as we try to understand the first Peter. Now, the first Peter deals with problems from the outside. Second Peter deals with the problem from inside. Peter writes to warn the believers about the false teachers who are peddling damaging doctrine. He begins by urging them to keep close watch on their personal lives. The Christian life demands diligence in pursuing moral excellence, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and selfless love. By contrast, the false teachers are sensual, arrogant, greedy, and covetous. They scoff at the thought of future judgment and live their lives as if the future judgment and the life is also the lives as if the present would be the pattern for the future. Peter reminds them that although God may be long-suffering in sending judgment, as we know the nature of God, beloved, as we read in Exodus 34, the nature of a God is revealed. There it says it's abounding in grace. He is abounding in grace and also in long-suffering and also in love, compassion and also mercy. And he forgives our sins. Yes, so these are the qualities we should also have. And we will have it when we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. When we surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, we'll be a new man, new woman, new creation. All our past nature of anger, jealousy and wrath will go away. As we read in Psalm 37, it says to us, cease from wrath and forsake anger. Yes, it is true, beloved. Yes, for a fool has anger in his heart, in his heart, as we read in Proverbs. Yes, it is true. So let us be filled with the gifts and the fruits of Holy Spirit. That is the peace, love, joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, mercifulness, patience, and self-control. And also we have the gifts of Holy Spirit, as we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. As we see, the gift of Holy Spirit is for the profit of all, the gift of wisdom, knowledge, faith by the same Spirit, Holy Spirit, that is, gifts of healing, miracles, prophecy, discerning the spirits, and to another different kinds of tongue, and to another interpretation of tongues. This is as to, it will be given to each one individually as he wills, as we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11. Yes, as God wills, we will receive the gifts of Holy Spirit as they are very important. Yes, and also when we have the Holy Spirit, yes, we will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Galatians 5 verse 16, these are very important qualities that we will have when we ask for the Holy Spirit. And the word says, as we read the mighty word, as we read in Matthew 7 verse 8, it says, Ask and you shall receive and it shall be given to everyone. It will be given freely, beloved. Yes, for we will know the truth, and the truth will set us free. John 8, 32. The words are true. Yes, and Jesus Christ is the light of the world. John 8, 12. He is the living waters, as we read the mighty word from John 4, verse 10. Whatever your request is there today, beloved, my sister, my brother, whether it is for the food, for the money, for the clothes, need of clothes, or whether it is the money required for the admission of children or for the wisdom, for the exams, for all the needs Jesus Christ will provide you. For he is a Yahweh Ire. God will provide Genesis 22 verse 14. Yes, go and put up your request in front of Lord Jesus Christ. For the word says in Zechariah 1 verse 3 and also the same word in Malachi, the word comes, return to me and I will return to you. As we read in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17, the word is speaking, beloved, that I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me. Seek him diligently, beloved. Give at least half an hour from the 24 hours to pray 
and to read the Bible. For the Bible is not a novel or a book. It is the roadmap of life. It is a living word, beloved, as we read in Revelation chapter 90. Yes, he is the omnipotent God who reigns as we read in chapter 19, verse 6. He is the Alpha and Omega as we read in Revelation chapter 1. He who reads the Revelation and he who hears the Revelation, both are blessed. Let us receive the blessings. It has been freely given. Yes, he will bless us abundantly as we read in Psalm chapter 38, verse 6. Yes, the words are true, beloved, in chapter 36, verse 8. For the word says, as we read the mighty word from John 6, verse 38, it says, Yes, that let thy will be done. Always say that, let thy will be done. For he knows our past, present and future, beloved. Yes, for he knows our thoughts as the blessings are coming to you and to me for this year. Yes, as he knows his, all our past, present and future, from the beginning he knows the end, as we read in Isaiah 46, 10. And he will carry us even in our gray hair and old age, beloved, as we read in Isaiah 46, verse 4. The blessings for you and me for this year, beloved, for 2022. It is saying that he has plans of future, hope, prosperity, welfare and peace for you and me. The words are true, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. So be encouraged, my dear sister, my dear brother. Yes, wipe away those tears, my dear children, my dear youth, my dear all. Yes, and also the word is promising us. Refrain from weeping as we read in Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 16. Yes, for your work will be rewarded. Yes, it is true, beloved. The word says in Second Chronicles 15 verse 7 that be strong, let not your hands be weak. Be strong, it says, make your hands strong for your work will be rewarded. The words are true. Yes, what is said will be done. I am his witness. I want you also to taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Yes, the words are true in Psalm 34, verse 8. For those who look to him are radiant and the faces are never covered with shame. The words are true. As read in Psalm 34, verse 4, beloved. Yes, and trust the Lord at all times. Psalm 62, verse 8. Come what may, in days of sadness, in days of happiness, in days of sorrow, in days of joy, do not forget to praise the living God, Yeshu Masiha. Yes, beloved. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. The words are true. Nehemiah 8.10. For the word says in Philippians 1 verse 21, For us to live is Christ and die is gain. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Philippians 4 verse 19, it says, My God will provide all your needs in the glorious richness, in the glorious riches of Yeshu Masiha. Yes, beloved. For the word says in Proverbs 8, it says in verse 18 that riches, righteousness and also exceeding riches and honor come from him. Yes, beloved. We all need riches. We all need prosperity, isn't it? He will give us the blessings. For the word says, as we read in Isaiah 45, verse 7, the word is saying, I form light, I create darkness, I make well-being, I create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. Yes, beloved, the word is blessing you and me. As we read the mighty word from Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 14 and 15, it says to you and to me, Hallelujah. It is saying, Thou shalt be blessed above all people, and thou shalt be free of all diseases. The words are true. Yes, for the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. The words are true, beloved. As we read the mighty word from Isaiah 53, verse 5, Hallelujah. He is the maker of heaven and earth, as read in Psalm 121, verse 1. And he has all authority. Every power and authority belongs to him, as we read in Matthew chapter 28. And beloved, yes, remember, you are not alone, for he will not leave you and me as orphans, as we read the mighty word from John 14, verse 18. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6. So, cast your cares upon the Lord. For he cares for you and me. The words are true, beloved, as we read the mighty word. Yes, from 1 Peter 5, 7. Yes, he will give us prosperity. As we read in Psalm 112, the blessings for those who fear him and who trust him. The word says in verse 3 that there is prosperity, there is wealth and also richness in the house of one who fears him. The word is true as we read in Proverbs 26, verse 25, it says. Yes, in chapter 28, verse 25, it says. Yes. Those who trust in the Lord, yes, they will be blessed. Yes, let us receive the blessings, beloved. Thy word is a lamp to my feet 
and light to my path. The words are true in Psalm 119, verse 105. For the word is life, the word is spirit, beloved. As we read the mighty word from John 6, verse 63. The word is flawless, the word is proven, beloved. Yes, the words are true. Yes, the word is truth, as we read in Revelation chapter 19. Yes, read the Bible, receive the blessings. Yes, read it every day, make it a habit, make it a practice and pray. And as we read in Isaiah 65, verse 24, the word says, As you are yet speaking, I will hear, and as you pray, I will answer. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Proverbs 19, verse 21, it says, Many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is the purpose of the Lord that prevails. It is true, beloved. Yes, so it is always very nice and good. As the word is speaking to you and to me from Proverbs 3, verse 6, it says, Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. And also, yes, commit all your plans to him, for he will guide us, lead us, and he will direct our paths. The words are true, beloved. He will direct us. He will bless us. Yes, and he will definitely bless us. As we read in Deuteronomy chapter 2, yes, and let us obey him. For with obedience, we will have blessings. As we read in Deuteronomy chapter 11, yes, beloved, we have to fear the Lord. This is what he requires from us. As we read in Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12, we have to walk in his way, keep his commandments. And the result of all this is we will have prosperity all our days and pleasure all our years. As we read the word from Job chapter 36, verse 11. For Job 42, 2 says he can do everything and none of his purpose will be withheld from him. The words are true, beloved. For God, there is nothing impossible. With God, everything is possible. Matthew 19, 26, Luke 1, 37. Yes, beloved. Let us read the word of the God, the living God. Yes. As we read the mighty word from Psalm 42, 2, it says, My soul thirsts for thee, for the living God. The words are true. The words are saying you to, to you and to me. It says from Jeremiah 33, verse 3, Call unto me, and I will tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. The words are true, beloved. Yes. Whatever your requirements are there today, go and seek the Lord and also the word says, as we read in Amos 5, 6, seek the Lord and live. The words are true, beloved. Jesus Christ will speak to you. Read the Bible. Yes, there are 40,000 checks in the Bible and cash it with your own signature, not a superior authority signature, not a king or a queen signature. It requires your signature, beloved. You will receive it. Yes, for it, the word is speaking in Mark 11, verse 24. Ask and you shall receive. But the word is saying over there, believe. It's a very important word. Only believe. Mark 5, verse 36. Yes, very simple, isn't it? Sometimes the things which are simple is difficult to digest. The word is very simple. Only believe. Mark 5, verse 36. As we read, the mighty word is speaking to us in Luke 7, verse 21. It says at that very hour, yes, those who were blind, those who were possessing the evil spirits, they had gone Yes, and also the blind received the sight. Yes, those afflicted and those with infirmities were healed. Yes, be healed in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. For he took our infirmities and carried our diseases. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. Whatever your questions are there, go and present yourself in front of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, as a lady with oil, as we see, she had lost her husband. She became a widow and had two sons and had to pay the debts. But the oil which she had, the olive oil, never got over. The blessings are there for you and me also. Second Kings chapter 4. Receive the blessings now, beloved. Be healed right now, my dear sister, my dear brother, in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. Hallelujah. For he is the same yesterday, to and forever. As we read in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Yes, heavens and earth shall pass away, but his word will not pass away. Matthew 24, verse 35. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Isaiah 40, verse 10, it says that the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God endureth forever. The words are true, beloved. Yes, he will give you the joy, the peace, and all the differences, all the problems will disappear. And the mighty word which comes to you and to me from John 15, verse 12, it says a commandment given to each one of us, love one another. It is a very important commandment for love can cover up all differences. Love breaks all barriers and love never ends, beloved. And also we have to love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. As we read in John 14 and John 15 also. 
Yes, and ask and shall receive. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for Jesus Christ loves you and me and all of us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yeshua Masiha, on the cross for us, that whoso believeth should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16. Yes, beloved, for he has loved us with everlasting love. Yes, as we read in Jeremiah 31, verse 3, he has loved us even before we loved him. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, beloved. So let us have faith and hope and charity and the greatest of all is love remember that as we read in 1 corinthians 13 13 yes love is the greatest of all beloved yes as we are seeing over here in the book of second peter as we are trying to understand it god may be long suffering in sending judgment ultimately it will come in view of the fact that believers should live lives of godliness blamelessness and steadfastness the statement of authorship in chapter 1, verse 1, is very clear. Simon, that is Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ. To distinguish this epistle from the first by Peter, it was given the Greek title Petra B, second of Peter. Yes, beloved. Now let us try to understand the keys to second Peter. The key word here, as we try to understand, guard against false teachers. The basic theme that runs through 2 Peter is the contrast between the knowledge and the practice of truth versus falsehood. The epistle is written to expose the dangerous and seductive work of false teachers and to warn believers to be on their guard so that they will not be led away with the error of wicked, as we read in chapter 3, verse 17. It also is written to exhort the readers to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Chapter 3 verse 18 Because this growth into Christian maturity is the best defence against spiritual counterfeits, this letter serves to remind its readers of the foundational elements in the Christian life from which they must not waver. Chapter 1 verses 12 Chapter 13 and also, we in chapter 1, verse 12 and 13, and chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. This includes the certainty of the Lord's return in power and judgment. Now, let us try to understand the key verses. As we see in 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 20, 21, and 3, verse 19 to 11. Knowing the first, yes, knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. For prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. As we read in chapter 1, verses 20 and 21. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, beloved, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us. Remember, it is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, that manner Yes, what manner of persons ought you to be in the holy conduct and godliness? As we read in chapter 3, verse 9 to 11. Now let us try to understand the key chapter, that is 2 Peter chapter 1. The scripture clearest in defining the relationship between God and man on the issue of inspiration is contained in chapter 1, verses 19 to 21. Three distinct principles surface. The first that the interpretation of scripture is not limited to a favoured elect, but is open for all who rightly divide the word of truth. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Second, the divinely inspired prophet did not initiate the scripture himself. And third, that the Holy Spirit, not the emotion or circumstances of the moment, moved holy men. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, may Jesus Christ bless the reading for today. Yes, do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod 
speaking. May God bless us. As we read in Numbers chapter 6 verse 24. Amen. Amen.